Hi everyone, it's Evie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Beauty Creations 35 Pro Color Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Emma. This is what it looks like. I recently hauled it in my Amazon, Ulta, and Walgreens haul video that I will link somewhere in this YouTube video. And I wanted to talk about it because I've been playing around with it, swatching it. So if you would like to see swatches and if you would like to know what I think about the Beauty Creations 35 Color Pro Palette in the shade Emma, then you know what to do. Keep on watching. Alright, so this is what the Beauty Creations 35 Pro Eyeshadow Palette looks in the shade Emma. Um, the packaging is really simple. It's similar to the Morphe Brushes packaging, uh, nothing fancy. Um, I'm pretty sure you may have some Morphe Brushes or some Coastal Stands or something like that. So it really does look similar. But this, to me, it looks more like Morphe packaging. Uh, even down, like when you look at this and the corners and stuff like that, it looks like the Morphe packaging. The difference about this is that they actually put the name on the bottom. That way you can tell which palette you are picking up or whatever so that's what i like about it they do have a really nice logo with the heart and stuff so that's nice there's nothing in the back all right with this palette i purchased it via amazon um through a seller named beauty vanilla but you can purchase this on the beauty creations website for i believe it's 18 or 18.99 i'm going to link and leave all that information below I did pay about $2 less, so like 16 and change because I did have a gift card that I was using to purchase this, uh, but it did retail for like 17 and change. So not bad for 35 eyeshadows. You're the type of person that you like to create different looks, but you don't want to splurge on so many eyeshadow palettes. I feel like this palette or palettes like this is really great or if you're a beginner uh if you're a beginner makeup artist or something like that palettes like these are great um i'm going to open it up so you can see the inside one of these eyeshadows did come off of the uh pan which is this shade right here um this matte gray i haven't magnetized it or anything i do have those strips of uh, magnetizing paper or whatever I didn't even put it in or anything like that yet but I will soon uh, but this is what the palette looks like so this is the gray and let me just give you let me show you what it looks like it is such a gorgeous like eyeshadow palette you have everything in this palette to create really nice peachy uh, summery looks which peach shades are really in you have your pops of purple you have your dark shades you have your nudes your golds those uh, uh, really nice smoky uh, bronze shades you have in here a lot of these eyeshadows uh, are matte so you have like 18 matte eyeshadows and you have about 15 yeah 15 um, satin shimmery metallic -y type shadows um mostly i would say like satin finish all right so this is what again what it looks like so really nice assortment of colors you can create many looks with this eyeshadow palette now talking about the actual eyeshadows in terms of the feel of them i have to say um, when I swatched basically all of these shades, they kind of have a chalky feel to them, which I really don't like. I'm looking for in an eyeshadow uh, something really creamy, smooth, uh, buttery almost. Uh, but the good thing is that although they have like a chalky feel to them, um, they are really pigmented. And this is the shade that I just swatched right here. Um, let me just swatch another one just so that you can see what I'm talking about. They are pigmented, although they have like that chalkiness feel to them. They swatch really nice on the skin. A lot of them don't show up as nice. I would say this shade, I think it was this one that I swatched and this one. I'm going to insert pictures. Like these two dark brown shades, which are these two on the bottom over here. When I swatched them on my skin, they were very packed. Each and every other matte shadow and satin finish um, shade 
swatch really nice except except for these two so these are not that great in my opinion i haven't really used them on my lids so i can't say if they are really good on the lids but i have played around with some of these other shades to let you know whether or not they're good when you swatch them they look great when you put them on your eyelids they look even better with the exception of one of the shades that i put on my lids today which is this gold um color over here that's the gold shade over here and this gold when i applied it with a brush it did not work out at all a lot of these shimmer shadows they swatch really nicely with your fingers on your skin uh, but when you use a brush and you're applying them on your lids they don't swatch that great so what you're going to do is either use your fingers which is which are the greatest tools that you will ever have anyway or you can take a brush and use a water or some type of uh, setting spray so so that you can intensify that color. Um, and so these are some of the swatches that I have already swatched. And I mean, as you can see, they look so great when you swatch them on your fingers and you apply them on your hands. But hey, when you work with them on your eyes, that's what matters. So um, I find that the matte shades are one of the best in here and usually I'm not happy with affordable palettes that have matte shades in them because they don't show up they're not pigmented or anything like that but with these they are pretty pigmented really nice blend beautifully they last a long time with or without primer which I'm really loving that and I'm not sure if that's because this is infused with kaolin clay which kaolin clay is really good for the skin um, I've used kaolin clay before on my face like uh, when I use Pond's uh, skincare or whatever there was kaolin clay in it um, this eyeshadow palette does have that so what i'm going to do is share some swatches as well as a beauty look that i created and another close-up of this eye look that i did as well uh, overall i feel like this eyeshadow palette is really nice beautiful colors um, it's affordable anyone can get their hands on it and like I said you can create so many beautiful looks with it and I feel like you can save a lot of money if you just go ahead and purchase a palette like this it does work out it's not the worst palette it's not the best palette I feel like it's it's a pretty good palette overall um, I feel like I would definitely want to try more products from Beauty Creations. I hope that you enjoyed this video, this review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.